Wow, it's so awesome how they can like switch to bad as dark, like as f talker. Hello there, great person, and welcome back to Let's Watch of Finland Saga Blind. Today we are at episode 17. Askeladd is getting betrayed, and let's just see where it goes. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment on what you thought, and uh, let's just uh, start this betrayal. And will Askeladd make it through the season? I don't think he will, but we will just see and uh, have some fun here. Well, yeah, let's go. Doch ich frag, ich frag mich. Oh, I got Oh yeah, right, the lances. That's a cool scene. Someone told me in the comments that it's also realistic, which is awesome. I just love Torko's uh, outfit. Yeah, what's gonna happen here? At least they don't want to kill him. That's nice. Oh, why do we see Torfin here? What does he think? Okay, so, well, that was the children. And now they are fed brilliantly. Brilliantly do you say that? Well, anyway, let's, let's continue. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, the, the opening. Yeah, let's skip it. Avalon. Avalon. Ooh, Arthurian saga. Servant. Is Avalon... Oh my god, I do have to react to the Arthurian saga, don't I? Amelia has posted the link on the Discord. Tell me if you want me to react to uh, the Arthurian saga because I'm not that versed in it. And I know glimpses and I've seen it through some uh, movie representations and I know they are taking their leeway or whatever you say. So, you know, I would love to to give, give it a, a try. So tell me if you want me to, to watch that, like someone like telling me about the Arthurian saga, analyzing it so... Yeah, Torius. Yeah, he went there when he was hurt, I think. Stabbed by someone, I don't know who it was. <laughs> Interesting concept of heaven for Askelot. Oh, I never realized that that would fit. I just, as I said, I don't know the Arthurian saga that much. Um, but I, I know that King Arthur, when he's like on his dying bed, is taken into a boat by the Lady of the Lake, I think, into Avalon, like per boat. But if he was taken westwards, of course, this is how it would develop. And yes, there are fairies, apparently. And uh, the, these uh, camel flowers, is that Camille? Don't know what it's called. And this is, of course, very Greek or Roman. I don't know. It's, it's, uh, uh, but it's like this ancient Roman paradise. And again, we have the lush colors. I always love that the lush colors are with the, these paradise images. Yeah. Yeah, it's also like uh, the Great Havens. No, that's uh, um, Great Havens in Middle Earth are used to go to something like this. Um, what's it called in Lord of the Rings? Where do you go when you go from the Great Havens to the Elven lands? I know you go off Middle Earth, like because Middle Earth became a globe, and then you go off straight into space, so to speak, and. Um, 
Yeah, I, I'm very sorry um, that I don't remember the name of the of the afterlife in Lord of the Rings. It's not technically the afterlife either. I do think Frodo dies there, but you know, it's, it's also like it's it's this paradise you go to. Ah, uh, it's such an interesting topic. The afterlife is such an interesting topic. <laughs> Also a bit like Jesus returning from the dead. You know, it's so interesting how these elements repeat. They probably have been taken from each other as well. Like it's not coming up every time. It's like developing. Serve the king. Oh, that's why he looks for Torquil, uh, 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 Tors. So Tors might have been the reincarnation or something he might have thought. So he is believing in this fairy tale saga his mother told him. Very interesting. I wouldn't have taken him for a believer. Is that a belief? I do. I would classify as, as that actually. Become a staff and a sword. Yeah. Isn't the staff Merlin? Don't know. Oh. He's trying to... He's at least trying to get them with him. I thought he was gonna just throw them at the wayside, but he's trying to talk to them? Yeah. How... How hell was hell, though? Hmm, what is it? Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> ah, because he's he does he hates yeah he hates Danes yeah. Oh, I did not expect this turn of events. Holy shit, man! I believe him as well. I I believe him because his mother was tortured by them. Holy fuck, man. What a character, love it. And Torfin's just gonna go for them. Oh my god, for his f family. Oh my fucking god, that's so tragic. Oh, and Bjorn is with him. Okay, I would have thought he, he be would betray them. Yeah, uh, you are going, you're not going to make it through this episode, I think. Holy fuck, Askeladd is so ruthless. Awesome, but sad. So he's gonna take them all, holy shit. Is he gonna die here? <laughs> I didn't have enough faith. That's such a tease. Oh, and he's looking at it. <laughs> no, I don't think some people are afraid to die. Was that mockingly said? Because I know if you're afraid to fight and die, you won't go to Valhalla by that belief, you know, so... Is he just gonna run in now? Okay, yeah, okay, of course he is. <laughs> so Bjorn and Torfin against the dudes that follow them. I really hope the brother dude is uh, gonna die here to get some more character development from the other brother dude. Because I think one of them followed them. Why did, did he say he's uh, following them? Oh wow, he tries to talk to him. That, that is true though, that is true. Oh man, what's gonna happen here? But why does he trust you? What is your backstory? <laughs> why are they not attacking him? Oh, they tried to get the horses. Oh, Reposi. Oh, is, is, uh, 
is Torfin gonna gonna jump at them and like slay them all now or yeah okay oh no Atli okay so Atli is just down for the count I mean he fell off a horse but might not be fatal is that even the prince or is that a decoy no it's the prince okay let's go beggars even anyone left Ooh, is he gonna do the rage mode? Yep, he is. Okay. I mean, yes, he's alive, but he's also damaged. I like that. Like, he fell off a cart and, like, it, like, turned around and stuff. It's good. It's nice. The mushroom, no! Don't <laughs> guy! Or whatever you say. Oh, holy shit, man. I love how different he's drawn as well. What is he doing, though? Uh, I mean, he perhaps perhaps Askeladd is almost done for the count and uh, Torfin can actually take him now. Wow, he slew a lot of people, though. But he's uh, very, very hurt. I like that. He's not invincible. That's good. <laughs> I don't like getting old. Yeah. I love the things on his blade as well, uh, his handle. Uh, his flashback starts, I don't see this ending well for him. Sometimes it is an anime that when, that when flashbacks suddenly start, you're gonna die. And he's still going at least. Wow. Oh god, he got his eyes! Oh my god. Oh, he wants to escape. What? Holy shit. Wow. Yeah, it is. Holy shit, man, Askeladd. What the hell? Good that he has armor. I guess he's only half a man now. Oh my god. Shit. He's really ruthless though, but... He's like this legendary thing as well. And he looks more normal again. Holy shit, and now he's just talking to them again. Wow, they must be pissing their pants here. Yeah. I mean, bow and arrow did fell uh, twice, so they might fall him here as well. <laughs> yeah, it's the same way Torkel uh, Tors died. I would have, I would like them to do it now. Tor Grimm, uh, 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 Grimm is anger, I think, in German. Like I know that Tor is Tor. And Grimm means in German at least uh, uh, anger or wrath. So Thor's wrath, perhaps. I don't know what it means in uh, Danish, so. Um. Oh no, he's negotiating. Oh my god. I don't think Bjorn will do that. Yeah, I'm for his legs. Awesome. Holy shit, man. Oh my god, they got him five times, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six times. Shit, man. Yeah, that was it for him. Like, even... It depends on how mythical the show is gonna be. Like, because we saw Tors, like, mow through a lot of people and stuff, and him as well here. But last, like, Tors did get done in by arrows. I do think thrice the arrows that he got, but still, like, arrow wounds, I don't know, but I do think they're pretty lethal. Wow. Yeah, because he starts to feel that his beliefs are at a stake here. Yeah. Uh, Nah, he is old. That is true. 
Voice getting up, holy shit. Wait any longer for what? A hero? Oh. So he wants to make his own king, I guess. Well, it's so sad. <gasps> Is he gonna die here? I would have thought... Imagine... Oh my god, imagine he dies and Torfin isn't the one. He spent 10 years with them and did the, all the shit. Oh my god, I would love that actually. Yeah, finish him. Why don't they do it though? Oh. He is here. Yeah. So, I guess Torfin is gonna defend Askeladd against Torkel here. That's gonna be the thing, perhaps. <laughs> Oh, he's still still having fun. Man, if he had died there, that would have it would have fit a bit. But also, it, yeah, I, I was about to say it did, wouldn't have felt heroic enough. But Tors also didn't die heroically, really. So they surrender. Okay. So and then they're gonna get mowed down, I guess. Yep. <laughs> yes, he is big. But you're gonna get killed, aren't you? Is he the kind of guy who listens? No, he threw away his weapon. That is dishonorable. He's gonna fucking kill you, mate. No, he's not gonna. He's, I do think he's gonna strike him dead. Yeah, 10 men's not gonna be enough, and probably Torkel also knows that. Yeah, he's not even listening to him, I think. Ooh, wow, that's scary. I love it. I <laughs> just cares for Torf, and that's awesome. I love that talk uh, because talk is now like yes he's the real deal he's not rebelling awesome yeah it's so good yeah yeah I knew that I knew that yeah, what deal? You never had a deal. Also, by the way, why does he want to spare us, us glad? Because he honors him as well a bit? Don't know. Or because he's down. Because they betrayed him and he hates that, I think. Though he betrayed the uh, Danes, but yeah. Holy shit, man. Yeah, otherwise they won't go to Valhalla. Yeah. They're pissing their pants. Yeah, at least they took them up. They are less... Oh, God! Good face! What? Yeah, holy shit, man. Oh, God, you're so fucking dead. He doesn't give a shit about the prince, I think. Oh. Oh, wow. Bye, Torgrim. Try feeling good when you die. Like, his childish demeanor is so fucked, and especially in scenes like this, I love it, but I also hate it. So, you will never see your brother again. I, I feel your pain, but I'm not gonna die. <laughs> oh, my heart. My, my heart is going out for you. What an asshole. I do think Torfin might save him, but I'm not sure. I would be fine either way. Yeah, I do think Torfin will save him. Well, perhaps not. Wow, it's so awesome how they can like switch to bad as dark, like as fuck talker. 
ワイトークルーいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやい